something to say. And this is gonna be a little juicy. <laughs> Who wears the pants? Me. A hundred percent. If he ever cheated on me, I would be out the fucking door and I would be in another country. Try us back to America. <laughs> We got two fans on us right now. We got two foes. One for the bitches and one for the hoes. Welcome back to a brand new banger. Papa, papa, papa. This week we're bringing y'all a special one. Today we're actually interacting with all of y'all. Alexis asked y'all on the Instagram for some spicy questions. Real juicy and y'all indeed gave us the juiciest of the juices. So this video, so we can be doing something and talking naturally and everything, we got ourselves some Asian food. We got some Chinese. No, uh, that's actually Mongolian. Mongolian. We got some food and we're hungry as hell because we literally have not ate since the morning. Oh we've been working out all day. Yeah, we literally in the morning we went to the gym. Right after that we went to cycling. Then we took the dog on a run. Then we, then we went swimming. Walk. Yeah, then we went swimming. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Oh, and then we went on a hike. you remember that? Oh, yeah, that big ass volcano. Oh, and then we started playing fucking soccer. We meet me, one v one, one v one. Yeah. Let's get into the video. Before we get into spicy, juicy questions, let's show you what we got. I got me. Oh, oh that shit got my eyes. What the hell? Also, I'm still a bit sick, but what the hell is this? I'm surprising her with that Mongolian beef with some broccoli and some green beans, and I got myself some kung pao chicken. I don't know how I feel about this. <gasps> Mmm. Mm. Good. Mmm. They give us some rice on the side. But me, personally, I like combining it. Ooh, I like those little nuts in there. Yeah, we know you like nuts. <laughs> Boom! Perfect presentation. Y'all see this? Oh, uh, right on top. Mmm. Straight to the point. But look mm. at this. Boom. And your shit cricket. <laughs> Which one looks more five star? Wait. <laughs> Are you gonna grab it like that? Oh, okay. Ah! Okay, sesame seeds on top. Y'all see that? Y'all picked that. Mine looks five star. Mine? Boom! Kung Pao chicken, a classic. Everybody loves these. We might start doing a lot of mukbangs on this channel because people love mukbangs. Because we reason. fat fucks. Speak for yourself. Only positive affirmations here. You're right, you're right. This is my favorite spot. And normally I have to convince Alexis for her to please come with me here <laughs> because normally she'd be eating some french fries, starbucks, banana nut bread you're a lie you're a I eat healthy you <laughs> get it? so I'm using tiktok words man no I'm getting back into tiktok it's my new hobby pasa tiempo people don't fuck with me but like we, we don't <laughs> he only grow up <laughs> yeah you, you, don't sleep on me she always caps on me because every single tiktok I make is about her as it should be and if I make a random tiktok she gets 50 views <laughs> That shit hella flops. It should always be about me from day it's one. Always a question. Yeah. It's, always a it's literally nine. It's. <gasps> Whoa! Why is it our cat, our cat is going into Where? the box. Get that bitch out. <laughs> Don't call her a fucking bitch. That's my princess. Before we get into it, I just want to say this video. Uh, we got this idea from Jose and Perla. 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 Yeah. So we got this idea from them. So like, if you guys are here, hey, like, thanks for the video idea. <laughs> Anyway, so we got some juicy questions. We asked on Instagram, and I got some from their video, and I got some from the top of my mind. That big ass mind, boy. I have a good one starting right off the bat. Hold on, <laughs> let's taste this first. Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Alright, Mongolian beef. Mmm. Fucking with it. Mm -hmm. Fucking with it. This is good. Finally, you found something you like. She does not like anything at that spot, and that's my spot. She does this all the time throughout the day. Take your bite. Wait, wait, wait. Rate it. What's a 10? I'll give it a cool 9. That's hey, pretty good. Hey, good enough. Mmm. Mmm. Nuts and food are fire. Dude, the nuts? I want love you like... Want, you want some of my nuts? Yeah. Enough beating around the bush. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Do you agree with that statement? A hundred percent. I 100% agree with that. Me personally, I've never cheated in my life. And I can say, like, if you cheat, like, you, you a bitch! You a bitch. Pussy. Like, you can just break up with the person, you know? Like, cheating is a. Uh, if you love wait, the wait, other wait. person, you don't put yourself in the position to cheat. Because think about this there's a bunch of steps to cheating. There's first meeting up with the person, 
getting close with them, kissing them, all of that. Like, think about it. When she cheats. Wait, why are you saying she? Oh, like uh, because I'm a man. Like, like you know, I think. But like, what's your opinion? What's your opinion on guys? Once a cheater, always a cheater is a hundred percent facts. Like, especially if you're grown. Okay, maybe if you're in high school. Like, mm. you were cheating in high school, like middle school and shit. Okay, maybe because you're literally a little kid. But if you're literally out of high school and you're in college, well, if you're like older than 23 and you're still cheating, you're a cheater for the rest of your life. If you're in college and you cheat, like that's already like a problem. Because everybody knows college is college life. You don't put yourself in a relationship in a position of cheating if you know you want to experience college life. We met each other in college. We never put ourselves in that position like in the remaining of the semester. Like we knew what we were getting into. Me personally, I wasn't looking for a relationship and she wasn't either. But once it happened, we knew what's up. Like, like we knew that shit. That crazy college shit. Mm. Out the door. But that doesn't mean we can't go out and have fun. We just became like hella homebodies and we never went to a party after that again. Cause we literally met at like a party. We're gonna do a short time on that. Mm. But exactly like, it don't matter if you're in college, if you want to have fun, you can still have fun. But if you're a cheater, you always gonna be a cheater. Unless you're a woman. If you're a woman and you're a cheater, then it's okay. Like it's part of what I was saying of, of wait, what do you say? <laughs> what? That's the worst thing. Because <laughs> listen. Say. Okay guys, do cheat. But for a guy to sleep with someone, it's a process. It's a, it's a fight. And for a girl to sleep with somebody, is like, I bet. You know? Hell no. That's the complete so? opposite. Because guys are hunting and girls are more like, ill, not him, ill, not him, ill, not him. It's easy for guys. Like, they will fuck anything. Girls are more prone to have standards mm. and be like, nah. But guys will literally fuck anything. Anything. That's a fact. Let's move on to the next question, but we both agree what's a cheater, always a cheater. Yeah. Leave that in the comments, though, below your opinions on each and every one of these questions. Every question you let us know, because we be reading them hoes. We can do a part two, a part three, <laughs> a part four. Four? Now let's go to a question from Instagram. Oh, damn. These are like some deep ass questions. Can you have a girl boy best friend while in a relationship? Okay, you answer first because I want to bite. Personally, my view, I think it is okay. I've had a lot of female friends throughout, throughout my time, throughout my times. I always left clear, even though if they threw some signals at me or something, I always left it clear that I did not anything pass from our relationship with them. Because I knew that once I had a friend, a female friend, and they were friends, I would never mess with it. Because if I wanted a girl, I would let it be known. Once I meet a partner and stuff like that, my girlfriend, I'm obviously, it's not gonna be the same type of communication because guess what? Apart from Alexis being my partner, She's my best friend. Fact. Let me say my T. It's a red flag. Let me say my point of view. Okay, I honestly, like, I was just playing with, like, the side eye, like, fuck you talking about? I don't care if he has girlfriends. I got something in my teeth. Hold on. It's gone. Don't worry you about sure? it. Yeah. If you guys see something, just mind your business. But how I feel, I think it's okay to have girlfriends and boyfriends, like, friends of the opposite sex. But you have to have boundaries, strict boundaries. Like, I feel like, okay, a girl best friend, he don't need that. Like, why the fuck do you need that? Like, I'm your girl best friend, you know what I mean? And I don't need a boy best friend. I don't need a guy friend that, like, I hang out with by myself or I'm always on the phone with, like, hey, best, like, we don't need that. That's weird. But him just having girlfriends, like, especially here in Colima, like, I always tell him, like, dude, hit them up so we can go eat with them, you know what I mean? So I can have some fucking friends, goddamn. But... It's just boundaries. You need to have boundaries. And also, this is also how I feel. New friends is like a no. Unless we make the friends together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We've met influencer friends when we went to Miami. We met a lot of new people, a lot of, a lot of new friends. And we made those friends together. Mm -hmm. But making new friends and then being like all friendly, friendly with that? No. You don't like, need no new friends. Without imagine me. if I was tripping of her talking with like some of her, her, her friends. Like, imagine yeah. I was like, hey, what the fuck? Like, yeah. include me! That's no. like embarrassing. You gotta know your soulmate, personally. Like, if you don't trust him, out! Dip out of there. Without trust, there is no love. And that is a fact. I have something to say. And this is gonna be a little juicy! <laughs> Before I met Michael, I was friends with Santi. And I've always been friends with Santi for like a long time, mutuals. When we did that soccer video, that's actually when we started talking. You did feel a little type of way, mm -hmm. huh? I mean, personally, I didn't feel no type of way because at the time, me and Alexis weren't dating, but I was into her. My friends at the time, 
they were trying to like uh instigate tension. Yeah, they were trying to instigate stuff and they were saying, hey bro, like look what they posting, like damn. I didn't feel type of way, but it did get to a point where I told her just to make sure like we talking pretty often, like are you like into me or like are you, is you talking to like uh, one of these TikTokers, like Santi that way or anything? Really cool guy though. As you guys know, I was friends with him. I'm still friends with him. Like sometimes I'll comment on Santi's TikToks, like congratulations, like just when big stuff happens because that's my friend, you know what I mean? Like I'll DM him congratulations or something. But there's been people that have commented back to my comments on his TikToks and be like, don't you have a boyfriend? Like they'll say shit like that. And I'm like, to us, we don't find that weird or like passing a boundary because like it's literally just congratulations. No, I didn't even see those comments. Why didn't you tell me before? <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we're saying like you can have friends we don't care about each other having friends but there is boundaries and if those boundaries are crossed you get in your ass beat no, I'm mm. we're not toxic like. but that's what i'm saying like that's how you can see like uh, our point of view on that because we have guy friends we have girl friends but there's boundaries that are needed to be in place because <laughs> At the same time, I know how a girl thinks and he knows how a guy thinks. So, like, spending time alone and shit? The fuck? <laughs> yeah, you don't need no fucking friends. I do have to say, though, if, like, I catch you, like, randomly texting. Like, just having conversations? That's kind of weird. It should be, like, a congrats, that's it, leave it dead. How are you guys doing? Leave it dead. Like, conversations, just, like, regular, regular conversations, that's too friendly for me. That's way too friendly. Yeah, there's a difference between like knowing that there's a friendship to like being friendly with somebody. It opens a very like wide subject, like friendliness and being friends and friendships and all that. We're not strict to the point where like, I want to see you better not ever fucking check the girl on your life type shit. Mm -hmm. But we are, like how we we're talking about, there's a difference between being friendly, like continuing a conversation, like for what? No, and just like a high and bye type situation. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like real short, keep that shit short. Like, it should be a one-time text, and I never see them in your messages again. <laughs> or maybe for like a couple of months, a year. That's what we mean. Loki, I feel like we're really bad at like explaining ourselves. We're gonna keep it more short and not go so deep in because like, I feel like we are confusing you guys. Should couples share passcodes? Hmm. I think sharing passcodes, 100% we should share passcodes. And not for toxic stuff. Just because for accessibility, like if you need to look up something real fast and my phone is the closest, like he should be able to have my passcode. I feel like there is no reason you shouldn't have somebody's passcode. Like if you're being hella sneaky and you have a passcode and you like won't give it up to your girlfriend or your boyfriend, that's really weird to me. That's really weird. Like you're a hell. But passcode to social media and stuff like that, he don't have my passcode to social media, but he has my passcode to my phone. So like if he ever like got curious or got like, Feeling some type of way. That doesn't really happen, but I, I definitely what you said for accessibility. Like, name me a reason why the other person shouldn't have your passcode. Like, he literally has a face ID and I have my face ID. Mm -hmm. And we don't see it in that thing as being toxic. It's just literally, like, why not? Some people, I feel, might be scared of, like, them looking through their pictures or something, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, being embarrassed. But we're at this point where we're literally, like, basically married. Like, I have nothing to be embarrassed about with him. He's my soulmate. Like, I... I'm 100% comfortable with him, so I have no reason to be scared or hiding anything, you know what I mean? So yeah. Right. Would you get back with your partner after they cheated? Fuck no. no. Hell no. I feel like a lot of people need to hear this too, because a lot of you girls get back with your man after they cheat. Mm -hmm. And exactly what we're saying, once a cheater, always a cheater. Especially if they cheated on you, and you think they're not going to do that again and they're going to change. Let it go, base. Let it fucking go, cause they're lying to you. This is a good point. People going back to their to their significant other after they cheated. Before you get into a relationship, you gotta understand that you're still your own self, and you gotta love yourself more than you love your significant other. So if something like that happens, you gotta realize that you gotta love yourself enough to let that person go. Because once you come back with the person, you're not coming back with the person for love. You're going back with the person because of the memories. And the comfortability. And the comfortability. Learn how to be alone, happy alone, and love yourself. That was really good, babe. Dang. Dang. Damn. 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 Oh, oh. Hand me up, hand me up. Hey. 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 Wait, wait, I want to say more. You're trying to outwise me? <laughs> exactly. Like, 
exactly what he said because I feel a lot of people stay in relationships because that's all they know that's all they know for years and they don't think they can restart and they don't think they can move on and the reality is this is your life you could do whatever the fuck you want in life and there's so many people in the world and there's so many fish in the sea like why would you need to settle for that one person you met in your hometown that fucking treats you like shit mm -hmm. like you can literally go to another town and meet somebody right then the next day i don't know why people stay with people mm -hmm. i really don't get it because if he ever cheated on me i would be out the fucking door and i'll be in another country us back to america <laughs> perfect question i found it and let me answer it first don't even talk keep eating who wears the pants me a hundred percent I boss around this house, I'm the king, you know, I can chill, I can chill, you know, like, I think I'm the one that wears the pants, I'm the one that talks for both of us, like, it's me all the way up, 100%, like, no question about it. Next question. I don't even think I have to say anything. It's not like an ambulance. <laughs> Y'all let us know who you think has the pants in the relationship. Let us know. <laughs> Okay, you can read the next one. Yeah. Going to a strip club for your bachelorette bachelor party. Honestly, I, I think like I want I would want to spend it like with you like together. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's kind of weird the idea just to like go crazy for your last day night get fucked up go to a strip club you people want to live their last night single like that's kind of what it's giving you know what i mean i feel like you could do so much other fun stuff with your friends than go to the strip club you could go to the club baby but the strip club there's people that love partying and stuff like that and couples party together and stuff like that and maybe like partying for the last time with your with your homies is cool but i do agree how a lot of people portray like bachelor's parties and stuff like that they portray it as like mm, you gotta let that fucking stripper right in your face shit like that type b if you're in love with that person you know, you're not gonna want to even do that you're not gonna want to really do that so i feel if my friends if my family wanted to take me to 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 a party like that i would definitely enjoy my time with my company not go like for some girl or something like that you know because i don't believe like what is the point of getting married if i don't go with the girl this night i'm gonna regret it because tomorrow i'm gonna be married yeah, it's like your last night like, single. That's what I'm saying. Like, why would you yeah. want that if you haven't been single this whole time? Like, it's just like, a difference. I made it my choice. Yeah, there's a difference between having fun and going out to the club with your friends. 100%, like, I would, would not care if he did that. If he literally gets fucked up and drunk, you know? Because I trust him. But if you guys are going fucked up drunk to a strip club, why? Like, why you need to go to a strip club? Like, why you need to see some ass and titties if you can literally see ass and titties right here? <laughs> you know what I mean? And same for me. Like, I would love for my bachelorette or whatever, I would love to go get fucked up with my girlfriends, but why the hell we need to go to a man's strip club or have like a stripper come and dance on me and shit? Like, I could have fun with my friends and that's it. There don't need to be no sexual element. Okay, um, not getting along with significant other's family, make or break. Let me talk about this because, damn, I'm hungry. <laughs> you ain't way too slow. This is our cat, y'all. She's so cute. I feel like it's definitely a make or break. Like if I met him and his family did not like me and we had drama beef, I honestly don't think I could be with you. I'm, yeah, I, I, I 100%. I'm really a family person and I love being with my family. I love being with his family and just having a good time and not having to worry about like if I'm being judged or if they're thinking about me or if they're saying stuff about me. Oh my God, like you guys don't even understand. It's the best feeling in the world. Like I could never imagine having your family like hate me or like judge me all the time. I would tell them something and I would be gone after the door. Sure. For a guy, normally a guy has to convince the girl's family that he's good enough for the girl, you know, normally for the guy. But I feel if it's just like they're not even giving you a chance, like that's definitely like. No, I feel opposite, honestly. I feel like a lot of moms are really weird with their sons, especially like Hispanic Mexican moms. Whoa. I wouldn't say all of them. I feel like a lot of moms are like that. It's not just Hispanics for sure, because I know, I know some moms that are really protective and over like it's kind of like an incest kind of love with their son what yeah you hear that i know a mom she does not have a good relationship with her son or her son's girlfriend like he don't even live with her because she's just so weird like that's my son like 
he's mine, don't take him away from me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what I mean with that kind of weird and sexual love. Like, they think that's their man type shit. They kind of have like a jealousy of the boyfriend's girlfriend. I feel you're wrong because in most situations, it's like for the guy like, great, you found yourself a girl and you like her, go ahead, boy. You know, like they they support their decision 100% and for uh, parents to let their daughter get with a, a guy, that they gotta evaluate it because traditionally, that's the man that's gonna take care of your family in the future of your kids and everything, you know? I get what because you're normally, saying. like people, people are like, oh, men are the ones that take care of the, uh, uh, like, the stuff, financials, take care of everything, you know, so it's, it has to be a, a well-established man. I get what you're saying, but I feel you think that way because your mom is not like that at all and you've never felt or even seen that a lot. But I know hella girls telling my friends who their the moms are weird. They what have are you from a, <laughs> You're from Bakersfield too, motherfucker. You I was grew, born in Bakersfield. I grew up in Colima. <laughs> I was born there, Boom, got, my, got my American papers. Let's go back to Mexico. <laughs> So yeah, I just feel like if family's not on good terms, I cannot do that, bro. I honestly, I wouldn't just want to have that stress, like for no reason. And it's pretty sad, like that when stuff like sad. that happens. Say you're madly in love, like it's like us, like we're in love with each other. Like would you choose your girlfriend or your wife over your family? Like would you cut contact off of your family? Me? I feel like no, I couldn't do that. I couldn't cut, I mean... If it's really like bad. What, bad, really bad and one-sided, then maybe there's a chance of me like for some time cutting com uh, communications with my family if I really believe in my significant other. But if it's like I'm really attached to my family and also my significant other is being uh, like stubborn about it and I should not try to work it out and your significant other also doesn't care about your relationship with your family, then I think it's like if I can't leave my family and like this and that, you know, I gotta stick with my family. If my family's like dead, dead, dead in the wrong, like they're literally on some weird shit, then I would cut them off because mm -hmm. why are you being weird to somebody I love? Yeah. But if it's just like a bumpy head type thing and it's mm -hmm. not gonna work out, then I, I wouldn't yeah, do my family. Because your significant other should respect um, that that is your family, you know? If they're not working with you to work a relationship with your family, then that's clearly something that you should not want from your significant other. Yep. Facts. Next question. <sighs> This question is going to be sweating, bro. <laughs> okay, now we're getting nasty. Y'all nasty. Is having sex within the first month dating bad? No. No! <laughs> if you're in high school... Yeah, if you're in high school, like, why do you even really have sex? Like, why are you trying to be like, <laughs> like be so for real? <laughs> if you're in college, because we met in college, like, we're literally grown living by yeah. ourselves. But, like, being real about it doesn't even matter if you're in college. A thing that you guys have to understand since the beginning is that sex, sooner or later, is one of the biggest things in a relationship because you don't want to be with the person talking real that, that is not satisfying you and vice versa, you know? You gotta make sure on the first night. Yes, yeah. because it's a big thing. This is one of the things that leads up to cheating and stuff like that, you can say, for a lot of people. Being real, like sex is one of the biggest things. Yeah, that's facts. Imagine you're with somebody talking for months and then you finally have sex and you just completely get an ick and you like hate it. What are you gonna do in that situation? Yeah, like, because dating, if you're not dating to marry, then why the fuck are you dating? You know? So if you're planning on spending the rest of your life with this person, then you gotta make sure you're gonna wanna spend every single minute of the day with this person. And what is what is included during the day? Boom! <laughs> I'm sorry if, if my family's watching this. But how do you feel about sex on the first day? Do you think that's giving hope? I have no I have no problem with it. If if that's your sex drive, if that's how how you see sex, and if you like the person enough and if the other person likes you enough, then you guys can work it out. But definitely if you're that person like damn like she slept with me like on the first day, she kinda did that with a bunch of guys and you start being insecure and not trusting her, then bro. Like, don't even start it. And that's a you problem. Like, then you go find somebody who... Yeah, who then you then you change yourself because you also slept with her on the first date. I know guys that think they can't be hoes, but there's guys that are hoes out there. No, definitely. For bad. <laughs> I don't feel sleeping if you wait a, a one day and if you wait a whole year. I don't feel it determines someone's worth is what I'm saying. But it can definitely change the trajectory of a relationship real fast. So on to that, do you think body count matters? <laughs> I feel like if you're grown, I don't think body count matters at all. At all. Like, it really don't give a fuck. But, there's a difference. If you're like hella a hoe, and you're like messing around with hella people, not using protection, not being safe, mm -hmm. and like the whole city knows about you, and knows you got a dirty 
and those you don't be using protection, then that's fucking nasty. If you're clean, then body count should not matter at all. I don't give a fuck. I, I think body count does not matter, but it depends on the person and what person you're looking for. Looking for a virgin is super weird. Like, imagine you have your homie, both of y'all 22 years old, and I'm like, yeah, bro, like, I'm not doing it because, like, I can't have a girl that's, that's not a virgin and shit like that. Like, bro, that is mad weird. Like, I find that mad weird because that's definitely hinting to, like, obviously, like, yeah. close to underage young girls, yeah. you know? With the body can, so I can say it doesn't matter, but like I said, it depends on you. Like what she said, like the whole city knows about you, yeah. and you got you already got stories and stuff. Like, bro, if I don't want that, if I don't feel comfortable with it, I'm not gonna get into that. I don't care how much I like the person. Like, you wouldn't want a person with that lifestyle, you know? Yeah. What I mean? First off, body count doesn't matter usually, but if you're talking with it with your significant other, it would definitely be the best feeling ever if you and your significant other have a close of a number of body count, you know? Yeah, but at the same time, I feel like if you're really grown, you don't even need to ask each other body count. But I feel every couple comes up with this question. Curiosity is like crazy, bro. As long as you're clean, like who gives a fuck? If That's not, not nobody's business. You can just lie about it, man. Like No, like 100% y'all, y'all should be like before you're messing with somebody, have them get tested, you get tested. Make sure you guys are clean. Yeah. People do be lying. People definitely do be lying. Oh yeah, yeah. When I said that, like, you can just lie. I didn't mean lying about no STDs or not like that. Yeah, like don't I, be, don't be promoting that. I'm, but yeah, that's what he was saying at the same time. If you got like stories about you and shit, like the whole town knows about you. And if you're literally walking down the street and people are like, yeah, that's that, that's that motherfucker. And like, dude, you know bro. What? Some people don't like, want to do it. If you take her out to dinner, like at McDonald's or something, and there's guys looking at her and be like talking to their ears, like, nah, fuck that bitch. Like, then yeah. it's kind of a little, it's a little bit embarrassing. Yeah, like, <laughs> We're gonna answer like one or two more questions and then that's gonna be it. Camera's overheating, man. Yeah. Hits or tails real quick. You already know it. <sighs> tails. Should a girl pay for dates? Should it be 50 50 or 100 0? So if with me and Alexis. So like our first day, I did pay for stuff, obviously. Like I was trying to be a gentleman, like good impression or whatever. But then afterwards, she started like offering to buy for meals. And then we started doing like, okay, you pay for one meal, I'll pay for the next one and stuff like that. And we never had a problem with that. Okay, so how I feel in the beginning, like when you first start dating, I feel the guy should 100% be paying for stuff to set a good impression, you know what I mean? But like after things start going and going, I'll pay for meal, then he'll pay for meal, then going back and forth, you know what I mean? And now we're at a point where we're like basically married. It's kind of like both of our money because we get paid from YouTube. So it's just like we're never thinking about like, oh, you pay for that meal, I can pay for that meal. Like it's just our money, you know what I mean? What I wanted to get into because I know a lot of girls love the idea of he's gonna pay for everything for me and he should always pay for everything. Like I shouldn't even put one penny out. And if you're like that, then that's you. That's like what you want. I feel like it's very important to know yeah. what you want from the beginning. If that's what you want, that's what you want because there are men out there that will pay for everything and not give two fucks and just let you do what you want to do. Like literally just hand you the money. If that's what you want, find you a man that does that. But if that's what you want and then you get with a man who's not trying to do that, that's your fault and then you guys yeah. get arguments because of that I feel it really does not matter like who pays for what because yeah. a guy can be in a situation where they can't pay for it and if the girl likes him enough and stuff like that like a girl is not gonna be like uh like brokey but I do believe like because I had friends that didn't have money at all and it really shouldn't matter like as long as you can get yourself the stress of of always like having to have money and to always provide since day one when i feel like nowadays like it's a it's a teamwork you know every financial stuff it's teamwork you know it's a couple things it's not a one person thing you take care of this and i'll take care of other stuff yeah i feel like i don't like really like the idea of a hundred zero because it's just, i just feel like it's unrealistic for most people like it should always be 50 50 but i know people have problems with 50 50 because this is literally usually what happens it will be 50 50 say like a wife and a husband and they're both paying rent and the husband's going to work the wife is also working but then she's also taking care of the kids and then she's also taking care of the house so it's not really 50 50 they don't fuck with that 50 50 because it usually ends up not being 50 yeah. 50 and the girl has all the stuff on them and if that's your life then i would leave honestly because i 100 get that like i would not settle for that no yeah definitely if your man is like 50 50 with payments 
But you gotta still do all the cooking and stuff, like bro, like that's really not it. Yeah, then that's fucked up on the like, Then what are you doing for really, the house? Yeah, you're really fucking up because both of you are working. But if it's definitely like like the guy being like, you stay at home, baby, like take care of the house and I'll take care of us financially. That's an agreement be between you guys, but definitely if it's 50-50 and both of y'all working, then 50-50 house chores should also be in play. Yeah, I feel like people just have their own boundaries and not just listen to social media and listen to like what the hell everybody else going on. Because mm -hmm. having a man that like spoils you, pays for everything, pays for everything, blah, 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 blah. Like if you're in college, how realistic is that? College motherfuckers are broke. Because he was broke as he actually wasn't. He was balling on that fast foot. <laughs> Financial aid got me hard. For me and Michael, personally, like our rent, we pay that with our couple channel. And in the house, we do have our rules because like he'll pick up the dog poop. And, and take out the trash and wash dishes and cook and uh... <laughs> Wrong. It just happens because it happens. Not because we're like, you do this, I do this, you do this. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Because obviously I can't cook, so he gonna fucking Oh shit! <laughs> Oh shit! We work with each other. I feel they should always be like a working progress with each other. Yeah, because I do cook and it's not like I'm forced to cook. Like, bitch, better cook. Yeah. And she always right. hits me and slaps me and <laughs> throws me around. No, no, of course it's not like that. <laughs> I cook because, uh, you know, cooking at home like is good. And you cook good. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I cook good. Yeah. yeah. Good, good, good for me. <laughs> If I'm like, yo, I don't want to cook, like, just go, just go eat out. If you know your partner, then there shouldn't be any, like, arguments or anything about it. Because we've yeah. never really got arguments about our duties because we just do shit. Like, we help yeah. each other out. I feel like people get caught up so much on social media, like, like, just trying to copy what everyone else is on. You should just do what works for you. Also, know to have your worth. Because I do know a lot of girls that 100% like maintain and like their boyfriends be bums as hell. Like they don't do shit, they don't have a job, they're not working at nothing and they're just accepting like everything and not doing nothing in return and just like living rent free type shit. Like that's another thing, like you should have standards for yourself like i wouldn't wish that on nobody i was seeing this video the other day of like one of those well, one of those social media guys that goes and asks questions to girls and like night outs or whatever and he's asking these girls like how much does your boyfriend have to make and girls talking about like six figures a year and stuff like that like that is crazy to think about i feel that that's put up social media like kind of like manipulating like all girls it's, like unrealistic. Look, it's super unrealistic i feel before anything you should feel that you can live on your own and maintain yourself and not have to rely on stuff. Why do you want to rely on stuff when you can do shit yourself? No, but listen, I, I feel that, like that, but then at the same time, if that's what a girl wants or if that's what somebody wants, then if they can get it, then yeah, like so be it. That's what they want. And if the man has no problem with that, then that's their relationship and that's how it is. But like personally, I just don't feel like that's for me. Like I could never 100% rely on somebody because then what if you guys break up? What are you gonna do? Yeah. You have no income, you have nothing for yourself and then you're just left in the dirt. Like what the fuck are you gonna do? So I feel like it's each your, each your own. Eat your own? Each his own. Each you know? to your own. Though. Each to your own. You're the English speaker here? No? Hablo español. Soy mexicana y por eso mi, mi inglés es ratatata. Next question. No, I was gonna say something like that. <laughs> Babe. So yeah, I put each each is each. <laughs> I put to each his own, and you shouldn't judge people for what they want. But just just make sure you're not making somebody try to follow your standards just because it's your standards. Like just no, if it's your standards, then you should have somebody follow your standards. But you can't change a person. Like if that's not the person you want to be told, exactly. lead that person on. Exactly. So you move to somebody else. But there's always gonna be a man out there for whoever type of man a girl wants. I feel you shouldn't change for a person, especially when you're just meeting them. Oh, I'm gonna change just because of, no, if they're not accepting you for your art and you guys can grow together and change for each other, you gotta change specifically for that person, and yeah. that's not a relationship. Let's get into that actually. Like wanting to change somebody. I was reading this book and it was Mastery of Love. It's a really good book, y'all should read it. And it was basically saying a lot of relationships don't work out because they want things from somebody that they weren't giving in the first place. And then they get mad, like, why aren't you being like this? Why aren't you giving me this? You've seen from the jump that that person wasn't like that. And you've seen what they give and how they act. Now, all of a sudden, you see something else, maybe on social media or, like, 
with your friends and now you want something different and they're just not giving that to you but yeah. that's your fault because why are you trying to change somebody when you knew how they are from the jump and you were okay with it from the jump if you were okay with, with it from the jump you can't try to change somebody after don't save her she don't want to be safe don't save her she don't want to be safe don't save her she don't want to be safe yeah exactly you cannot change a person um, that's the problem with so many okay. relationships like, like here's the example ah! I'm sorry, here's the a thing. relationship is a commitment between two people, not one. You're gonna make me forget what I'm gonna say. Well, you're making me forget all this stuff. Okay, no, no, no. She gonna beat me after this video. Fuck it. Okay. Stop <laughs> making those jokes, bro. Let it be known. Si Dios lo sabe, que lo sepa el mundo. So here's the example. Say you get with somebody who's like hella friendly with other girls, be on social media, like commenting back to girls and stuff, and you get with them, and then you try to change them. And you think they're gonna change for you. You guys get in arguments, 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 because he's not changing. But you know how he was from the jump. Then no. why would you get with him? If they don't change by themselves for you, then you're not gonna be able to change them because people don't change de la noche a la mañana. Well, from night to the uh, morning. People don't change overnight. Yeah, people don't change overnight. So if they're not changing for you, like, man, you go change, my boy. Yeah, you cannot force somebody. Like people are people. It's, it's like getting a two-year-old dog that is a street dog and trying to home train him. Like they're for the streets. Yeah, let them be for the streets. That man is for change. the streets. That girl's for the streets. It don't matter. Like we staying home. <laughs> Like a lot of people think, oh, I'm different, like I can change him, blah, blah, No, he's gonna cheat on you too. You can't change a cheater. If yeah. he a cheater, he a cheater. No. If she a cheater, she a cheater. Last question and last question, this just came up to my mind. So this is the situation. A couple, guy or girl cheats, and with the person they cheat, they start dating. What do you think about that? I think 100% you're dumb and you're a homebreaker. Why would you think they would not cheat on you? And they just did that to the last relationship. What makes you different? Because you're not, you people think they're different. Yeah. You're not. They're still gonna cheat on you, babe. People that do that still, you could be still Beyonce. Guys, that still girls. I need you guys to get some like makeup, some colors, and paint some like red stuff, some white stuff. Because y'all is clowns. <laughs> y'all clowns. And y'all set yourself up for failure. You, you set up another person, and then you set yourself up. Bye. Stupid. I was just about to say, like, you could literally be Beyonce. Like, I promise you, you are not different to change a cheater. I promise you that. Mm -hmm. Literally, Beyonce got cheated on. What? What's not clicking? If he's a cheater, he's a cheater. If he cheated, he cheated. And if she cheated, she gonna cheat again. Yeah, and like, there's so many people in the world. What makes you think you can't find, like, what makes you think that man or woman is like the best you can get? And if they're treating you like that and cheating on you, like, what makes you think that? If you're not happy like with your situation, get the fuck out of your hometown. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, some people don't have money to move to. But that don't, no, mean that's you, facts. that don't mean you still have to talk to the same people. Have some self-control. No, you can shoot for the stars. Nothing is impossible in this world. Facts. And with that, mi gente. This is hard work. Gonna Who's going to carry the boat? Who's going to carry the boat? What the you guys get up with the motivation. Doesn't matter if you don't feel like getting up. You gotta get up because if you don't do it today, somebody else is doing it tomorrow. Facts. 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 Discipline. Discipline your mind. Discipline, discipline, discipline yourselves. Discipline, discipline yourselves. I, I bet. So, anyways, I think this is the end of the episode. The camera's already low on battery. And we talked a whole we, lot. We talked a lot. <laughs> Leave down in the Bye. comments below if you guys like the talking or you guys like the more question answering. <laughs> Wait, wait, y'all let us know because we're actually thinking of having a podcast. It was just gonna be a me thing, but like, we'd be talking, we'd be chopping it up. Yeah. We got some good, some good insights. So I think we're gonna do a podcast. No, definitely. Definitely gonna do a podcast. It depends on the results of this video because this video was kind of like a podcast. We was talking our shit. Yeah, I'll go. We was talking a lot. So leave down in the comments below. Leave you guys your opinions and we'll for sure do it because we've been in talks about this, but we haven't done it. We'll for sure do it if this yeah. video reaches boom, 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 one million likes. A hundred comments. A hundred, a hundred comments. One hundred likes, please. Yeah, just, ah, uh, yeah. We're gonna end this on a good note and on... Hold on, hold on. There's something else I want to say. This is the couple channel. This is a growing channel. And as you guys can see right here on the charts, it's gonna cover Alexis's face. <laughs> Only like 30% of people that are viewing these videos are subscribed. So for the other 70%, you guys can <laughs> subscribe. Put that post notifications. Wait! Like. I have something serious to say. And with that... Thank you for...
Thank you for watching. We love you guys. See you guys every Friday. Be there, be square. Or be lame because this is the coolest channel in the world. Ooh. That was like the longest. Anyways, thing. most like comment, $5 giveaway. <laughs> 20 pesos. Hey, 20 pesos. You know what? No, no, no. no, 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 no. Special edition axolotl peso. Oh, hell no. You know how much this is actually worth, guys? It was like ranked like third in the most beautiful bills of the planet. And so people started collecting them instead of using them. So that's why it's, Don't worth, that's why it's worth more. <laughs> so we'll see y'all on the prairie. Let's go. We're going to sleep. It's 10.46. We talked too damn long. Okay. I'm going to wash some dishes. You? What the fuck, dude? You better get fucking wash the dishes right now. I'm going to be sure fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Pick that dish up and yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it to the sink.